so it's time for Boxing Day football and uh, yeah more football it's uh, Thursday and we have a full program in uh, apart from one game which is tomorrow in the Barclays Premier League and it's been an eventful year this is the last but uh, one fixture because we have some more matches on Saturday um, no wonder Klopp's moaning about the uh, the expectation on the players to keep playing but my attitude is they get paid an awful lot of money and come on uh, you know that's their job so uh, let's get on with it ok so to today's fixtures then the early kick off is at uh, White Hart Lane the new White Hart Lane Spurs against Brighton the Spurs of course uh, lost at home to Chelsea on Sunday and then there was a, a little spat between uh, Mourinho and uh, Lampard over Mourinho's comments about Rudiger making a meal of the challenge um, so uh, that relationship's turned a little bit sour um, Brighton well they uh, they have uh, uh, performed well this season but um, their, probably their points tally should have been more uh, than it is I'm expecting a Mourinho to get them G'd up uh, for this one and I'm taking Spurs to win this game by two goals to one uh, on to the rest of the fixtures then uh, on today uh, Aston Villa third from bottom take on Norwich who are second from bottom um, but goals I think are, are plenty in this one um, I'm going for a 2-2 two -two draw uh, off to the vitality now Bournemouth at home to Arsenal Arsenal of course have their new coach now installed uh, in the dugout Mikel Arteta and as it usually happens with a new coach there is a, a, a response and I think uh, Arsenal might well squeeze a win out here by the odd goal in three so Arsenal to win this one by two goals to one Stamford Bridge uh, Chelsea at home to Southampton uh, Lampard of course extremely happy about uh, them that win against Spurs uh, that halted a slump of three without a win I'm expecting them to move on uh, and take this game by three goals to one uh, to Crystal Palace uh, they lost to Newcastle at the weekend it was a pretty poor game uh, Palace uh, home to West Ham who didn't play um, and I'm going for a 1-1 draw now to Goodison Park, Everton at home to uh, Burnley and this launches the managership of um, Carlo Angelotti and uh, I think there's going to be good things around the corner for Everton this per, uh, uh, person has a tremendous CV and I think he's going to lift them and I think they're going to win that game by two goals to one Sheffield United are fifth entertained bottom club Watford Watford did get a win on Sunday but it was against a really out of form Manchester United Wilders Sheffield United are still on a high they, they won at Brighton I think they're going to win again today and they're going to beat Watford by three goals to one now to Old Trafford well Paul Pogba will probably be uh, in the starting lineup and uh, he certainly looked quite good when he came on as sub uh, on Sunday they're at home to Newcastle Almiron of course on a high after his goal but I'm expecting once again the Reds to uh, overturn that dreadful performance and win the game by two goals to one the last game is the game of the week of, of this match day uh, match day 19 and it's at uh, uh, the King Power Stadium with Leicester second playing Liverpool uh, on top this is going to be a great game of football but I just think the uh, momentum from that world championship win plus the fact that they've uh, they, they're 10 points in front I think they're going to win this game Liverpool by like two goals to one not quite sure why there's a match on Friday but there is and it's Wolves at home to Manchester City and uh, uh, 
Manchester City, of course, off the back of that win against Leicester. Uh, Wolves are in great form. I'm going for a high-scoring draw here. Wolves uh, to Manchester City too. So I'll be back. Um, the results show is going to be extremely brief uh, because we've got another set of fixtures on Saturday. So I've got to wait for the uh, program tomorrow. Uh, then I've got to uh, audio the games and edit on the uh, computer to get a, a, a video together. Uh, of course, it won't include Friday's game. Uh, I will include that on the front of the prediction show for Saturday. Um, but the Friday uh, result show for Boxing Doe, I will highlight two games. And uh, the other seven, I will just tell you.